According to the media release issued by the Democratic Media Holdings Executive Chairman, Chris Nagreev, she strongly objects the personal and uncalled for remarks made by Youth Minister Kazenambo Kazenambo. So I don't understand where the insensitivity issue comes from unless he wants to take the focus from what it's really about and, and, and carry on about the so-called insensitivity. Uh, but, but I see no insensitivity at all. Mm -hmm. If the son had been insensitive to that and what it means to the people who were involved in, in that whole process and the people whose ancestors' uh, remains were, were brought back from Germany, uh, I could have understand it. But if you, if you look at the, at the reporting, from, from, especially from the Namibian Sun over the repatriation of the skulls, it was done in an absolute, responsible, sensitive way. This story is not about the skulls. It's not about the sensitive issue of people's remains uh, that are brought back to Namibia. It's purely about the cost. Yesterday, Minister Kazenambo Kazenambo stated that Pullman has no remorse over the killing and murder of the Namibian people in the 1904 genocide, and his only concern is about money. These people were killed. These are the grandparents of people who are still here, whose farms are still occupied by white settlers, yeah? whose cattle were dispossessed, and a mere 1. million, whatever, you are monitoring it, which was taken to bring the scars of these people. You, you are condemning it in the newspaper. And you are white for that matter, even if you are black. It shows how some white people, in the, and I'm underlining the word, some white people of the likes of, of young Pullman, they take the policy of reconciliation for granted. And he did a mistake because the person he has targeted to, I am a great descendant of the people who were massacred by his grandparents. He's provoking for me to settle the issue at a personal level with him. And you journalists, black and white, you must know when you are scratching too far. He have pointed out that the biggest threats to the future of the country is racism. And this must be the duty of every individual and institution to fight against of racism. I think this is something that we need to sort out as a community, as a Namibian nation. Because the problem, the, the underlying problem is blatant racism. And for, for the Honourable Minister to use reconciliation as a threat, it's a contradiction in terms. You cannot threaten people with reconciliation. I, that I fail to understand. But the, the underlying problem here is, is racism. According to estimates, around 300 skulls were allegedly taken from the Herero and Nama ethnic groups who died in the German-run prison camps in 1904.